Oh my goodness. So I'm going live, I'm cooking outside. Um, this is currently happening. <laughs> Here's my setup. There's my setup. Hi, thanks for joining. All right, let me see if I can do this. Just sitting up here. I'm pretty much just sharing whatever I'm cooking tonight for dinner. What I did was I just salt, put salt and pepper in it and um, inside out and I'm just gonna put it on fried oil, put it in the oil. Now you know that it is hot when you stick your wooden spatula, your chopstick, anything wooden into your oil and it starts to bubble. Let me tell you, let me show you. That's when you know it's hot enough to fry. Now I'm frying outside, or I'm, I'm pretty much cooking outside right now because it's fish and it's gonna smell in my house. I don't want it to smell in my house, so I'm gonna cook outside. So tonight, tonight for dinner, we're going to have um, fried fish, fried whole fish with Thai chili sauce on top, and then um, I'm also going to make snow pea leaves with garlic. I'm just gonna saute it. So here we go. Now, like I said, I just marinated this for uh, 10 minutes or so. Salt, pepper, that's all you need. This is pompano, golden pompano. It is delicious. Pompano is so good and yummy. Um, my family caught it, or my family catches it in Port Aransas, but I actually bought this at H Mart. So we're gonna put one in. And you want it to be good. This is my splatter, splatter screen. It hurts when you get splattered in the face with little I'm gonna let that go. And I'll show you my setup right here. Alright, so we'll let that fish fry. But um for the Thai chili sauce, I'm gonna walk around over here. For the Thai chili sauce, I have cut up um, Thai chili peppers. I have coconut, palm sugar, fish sauce, white vinegar, garlic over there. And then, that's for the fish, that's for the fish chili sauce. And then for the, um, the sauce on the snow pea leaves, I'll show you soon, but I have um, oyster sauce, tapioca, and then I'm flurry, mix it in a flurry, and pepper, and chicken broth. I'm actually gonna do that right now. Why not? Just do it right now. You want tapioca? I don't think you want it, baby. No. Okay. So this is homemade chicken broth. Are you watching me? A little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is how chicken broth right here. I'm just going to add the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. I'm just going to do this while everything is cooking. So, oyster sauce, mix. Tapioca. So, it was tapioca flour and tapioca flour, 
just it was like a teaspoon of tapioca flour and then I just added a little bit of hot water stirred it up because I wanted to make it this texture to put it in this sauce. It's a little clumpy but you don't want the clumpiness. And we mix, 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 mix. Yeah, you don't want the clumpiness. I got mine a little clumpy. And then just black pepper. Okay, let me check on the fish. What are you gonna make dirty? He wants to make the car dirty. Okay, so now this we're gonna set aside. This is actually for our um, snow pea leaves. Go ahead. Just make sure to wash your hands before we eat, okay? For the fish, you want to make sure that it is golden brown. So let's take a look and see how it's looking. Right. snow leaves and um, snow pea leaves so these are the snow pea leaves that I plan on stir frying with garlic um, after all this is done with we're gonna make the snow pea leaves in a different pan because everything is gonna be spicy on this pan I'm making two variations of the whole fried fish one is it's just gonna be fried um, for the kids and then the other one is going to be for Katie and I so that we can eat it together. Spicy. Okay. Kalita, what are you doing? Yes, baby. I know, right? A lot of people keep asking. Well, you could try to make this at home, Courtney. <laughs> Super easy to make. I think the longest part is just prepping and knowing what to buy. I think that's the hardest, longest part. Okay. I don't know if it's too dark outside, but it looks like it still needs to cook a little bit more. Maybe like. Can I turn the light on? Oh yeah. Alright, be right. Okay. Can you turn the light on? Thanks. Looks like we can turn the light on out here. So we're gonna turn the light on. So this this specific dish is actually a Thai dish, um, mainly because whoa, there goes the light. Oh, that's so much better. 
<laughs> Whoa, that is so much better. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> okay, now you can see everything. So I should probably redo. Nah, I ain't redoing anything. So, <laughs> so, pretty much, this is a Thai dish. It's called um, Tim Rad. Tim Rad Rick. Um, Tim Rad Rick. I might say that wrong. JC. But, um. Uh, 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 JC. Stay over here. Stay over there, baby. Tim Rad Rick. And this is. It's mainly the sauce that's going to be. The game changer for everything because you have you have spicy you have sweet you have sour and i'll show you how to make it because the main one of the main ingredients when you're making this is the oil so you use the Perfect. to you to make the sauce you actually use part of the the fish oil that you fry into your sauce so that's actually um, a very important step all right, I think I can flip it. I think I can flip it. Let's not hurt ourselves. Oh yeah, it's so good. Now, whenever you're at the Asian market picking out your fish, you always want to make sure that you pick your own fish. Because if they pick it out for you, it might be a bad fish and you don't want a bad fish. Um, so you always have to look at the eyes to see if they're translucent. You wanna look at the gills to see if they're bright red. That's when you know that the fish is pretty fresh. And also if you, if you like, hold on. But if you touch the fish, I don't know if you can say it. No, no, there you go. If you like touch the fish and it bounces, that that's a good fish but if you no. touch the fish Kyle if you poke the fish and it makes like some sort of indention <laughs> then that's a really bad fish and you should and not buy that. it oh, should yeah. not buy it <laughs> you know I I might have to make a recipe on it would you Courtney would you be interested in a recipe card just so water. I might have to like make a recipe on it I don't have exact measurements though because you I usually do everything by taste, but um, yeah, taste. What is it? Taste to test? No. Test, test to taste. taste. Test, taste, taste, taste. So see how it's getting. See how it's getting a little bit golden brown. That's what we want. We want golden brown. Very important to have golden brown. I'm just going to let that sit here for a bit too. And I'm going to set up, this is going to be done here in a sec, but I'm going to set up where to put this fish and I'm going to take you over here. Okay. I think we're just going to eat outside tonight. Because <laughs> everything's, everything's smelly right now. Um, oh yeah, this is actually my basket that I put on top of my food so that the flies don't come on it. So here's my basket. <laughs> you don't want flies coming on food. Yeah, you don't want flies on food. So anything fried, I just get a paper, paper towel and I put it in a uh, container. I don't know what this is a plate. I'm going to place the fish right here so that the oil can pick up on the uh, paper towel. We're going to have two big fishes on there. I don't have time to make the mild sauce right now, but the mild Thai chili sauce, um, but I'll probably make that tomorrow. I need to make a batch. I'll probably show y'all how to make that soon. So delicious. Mama! Yes, baby. Are you cooking the fish? I am. We're gonna eat pompano tonight, baby. Excuse me. What? Pompano. You remember catching pompano with grandpa and Lada Sue? Nature. 
Is there a rice dish you can do with the fish? Yes, there is. I mean, I like to eat it with plain rice, plain jasmine rice, because you have so many flavors already with the Thai chilies on top of it and just so many flavors. So I think it's a lot better with just um, white rice. And I'm actually cooking that right now in the house. It's in the rice cooker. That's my husband's job is to cook the rice. And then I just cook everything else. Or is there a rice, did I read it? Did I read that wrong, Courtney? <laughs> is there a rice dish you can do with fish? I, I'm sure there is. Are you talking about like different, uh, like a different dish besides this? Because if so, then yes, there's definitely a lot of fish dish, fish dishes that you can do with rice. Yeah, I hope I said that right. <laughs> Okay, so I think this is done. You know when it's done, when it's golden brown and um, it flakes, it's flaky. But it's definitely done. I just wanna cook it a little bit more on the other side. What's wrong, baby? Uh, 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 out of the way, baby. It's, it's hot over here, okay? Up. I'm telling you, I love this portable, I love this portable Asian stove over here. You get the butane, you hook it up, you get to fry outside. The smell is like outside and not inside. You just fry everything with this thing. And it was only like $29. <laughs> it was $29 at the Asian Mart. It's amazing. No refunds though. Oh yeah, no refunds. No refunds. <laughs> oh hey Jason. <laughs> Wave. Oh he's gone. <laughs> okay. So now that this is done cooking, I'm gonna set it aside, cook the other one. And they actually cleaned it at the Asian market. I usually clean it myself, but they cleaned it at the Asian market. So if you have an Asian market that can clean it for you, do it. But the only thing I wish they would have kept on is the fins. I love to eat the fins because it's so crunchy. So this is the outcome that you want for the pompano. Golden brown, yummy, delicious for the boys. Hi, I'm cooking outside. I don't know where my bowl is going. The papa's gonna get them. What's up? So yeah, pompano is just, pompano is so good to eat. It's delicious. It's buttery. It's actually one of my favorite fishes to eat. I get so happy whenever my parents go to Puerto Aransas and then they catch a lot of pompano. I love to eat pompano. Tell them how the fish is divided. How the fish is divided? Between the two pieces. I have a hole in it. Oh yeah, so I bought two um, pompanos. Now, the reason why I bought two is because JD just wants to eat his own fish, his own entire whole fish. He doesn't want to share with us. Because last time we shared between the family, he was like, um, this is not enough, I need more. <laughs> so that, that's actually JD's whole fish. And then the kids and I are gonna split this one. <laughs> This splatter. This is the splatter. Um, yeah. Splatter shield thing. It really helps to not splatter this on your face. But I'm not going to be around. 
Hey. Away from the the stove, baby. What? What? Uh uh uh. You don't say what. What? You don't say what. Excuse me. Stay here. On today's menu at the Callaway House, we're having fried fish. With we're having fried fish today at the Callaway House for dinner. Fried fish with topped with Thai chili sauce, homemade Thai chili sauce. Um, the fried fish is pompano, and on the side we're gonna have white rice, fried jasmine rice, and um, snow pea leaves, which I'm going to show you how to cook too. And. I made a snow pea leaf, um, I made a sauce right here for the snow pea leaf and I'll both explain it again later once I make it. Mm -hmm. Oh, smells good. Oh look, Sean's on. Oh, Linda's on. Oh, Helena's on, Katrina's on. Hey y'all. This is what we're having for dinner tonight. <laughs> Come on over. You're like three to four to five hours away. Let's go. <laughs> I know, it is yummy. It's called Tim, Tim Rad Lad Trick. Tim Lad Trick. So yeah, we're gonna have Thai chili sauce on it, which is no. Spicy, Oops. sour, sweet, um, acidic, all in the same. I popped on me. Going to put this and everything on it. I don't like to be popped in the face with oil, and I don't think anybody likes to be popped in the face with oil because it really hurts to be popped in the face with oil. Not fun at all. I remember I got popped in the eyebrow. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> oh, Chase's voice. So in the meantime, while this is cooking, while the second fish is cooking, all right, you see that pop? That was a big pop. I could have been there. So, here is everyone outside. <laughs> That's my setup. Um, it is a pompano. It's called pompano, golden pompano. It's so good, buttery. Like this fish is just so delicious. And all I had to do is I just put salt and pepper, and that's all I needed. So this is the first one. This is the first pompano, and this is probably gonna be JD's pompano because he wants to eat the fish all by himself. I want the hot one. Okay. <laughs> so biggie. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know, Helena, that was a huge pop. That could have popped. Hi! <laughs> okay, this splatter is not big enough. I need to get a bigger splatter. Oh my gosh. Sit around the table. Uh, nope, not lots of bumps. Not lots of bones. Not too many bones. Just the bones of the spine and the body, but that's about it. Okay. You you do the birds or you you do the fish and have the birds. Thanks, Elena. I will try to be careful as much as I can. Hey, share. Yeah. You you don't have to hold So yeah, it. um like fingers. I was saying earlier, the the main um ingredient for the sauce is actually going to be the fish oil that you make, that you fry your fish on. So that's the oil that we're going to use to make our sauce. It's gonna be like one of the bases for our um, Thai chili sauce that we're gonna spread on that fish. Yep, it's on a walk. Yes, I am. Okay. 
flip this over. I think it's good to go. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, you sure you want this one? This one's the biggest one. Fine. Look at that. Look how nice and golden brown that is and how crispy it's going to be. And also, when you're, um, before you even fry it, you want and marinate it, you want to make sure that you cut those slices so that it cooks evenly and it takes in all the marinade, which is only, what, uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, and I'm just frying it in canola oil. Oh, hey, Fern. Fern from the Philippines. <laughs> What's up? What's up, cuz? <laughs> You want to say hi, Jamie? That's your cousin. What's up, cousin? <laughs> Sean said, I wish I had JD's life. He's got it made. <laughs> well, you know, there are some days where it's just like, let's just get chicken nuggets at. Chick-fil-A. Or let's get chick fil nuggets at McDonald's. <laughs> there, are, there are days where I don't want to do anything. Linda's asking, when are we coming to Dallas? Name the day. You hear that? Name the day. You got enough room for us? Of course you do. Of course Linda has enough room for us. She has enough food for us too. That can last us the entire pandemic. <laughs> and we have like super good cooking over there at Linda's house too, the Mendoza's. Oh, she says tomorrow. What, you off tomorrow? <laughs> I actually can't go anywhere right now because JC has pink eye. And I think it might be going to Kyle too. It's actually supposed to go to Kyle this weekend. Have pink eyes. Yes, you do. No, I can't see myself. I know you can see right now. But your eyes are a little red, baby. With boogers, with caca eyes. You got caca eyes. I don't. Okay, baby. Okay. So, almost done with this one, and then we're gonna start making that Thai chili pepper, Thai chili sauce. It's really dark down here. Cow. Cow. Dogs are barking at the deer. Cal? Are ya? Someone say hi. Someone say hi. 
Arya, go, come on. eating the eyeballs in the head and the fins which the Asian mark cut off but I love eating the fins the tail the eyeballs it's delicious okay so I think this pompano is ready to go see how it's golden brown that's what we want golden brown golden brown yummy goodness so, gotta be careful when you're picking it up. Oh yeah, blood and brown on both sides. That's what you want. And we want to try to get all the excess oil out of there. Next up, we are going to cook the. I'm gonna make the Thai chili sauce here in a bit. After this. Thank you. Jenny, if you're gonna um, take this off, take that off. Should let it cool out over here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use. I need a spoon. You know this? Be right back. that I cooked the fish in, the fried the fish in. That's the, that's the main recipe. I mean, not the main one, but pretty important step. So I use this oil. And this is gonna help me make the sauce. I honestly don't know how much I put in there. All right, how much I guess just make sure that's done.
question. Oh, that's my girl. How do you, how'd you get that on there? Nice. Okay. So here it is. Here's the pompano, the fry hole pompano. Not supposed to. Mmm, that's good. That's good by itself. Mm. That's crispy. All you need is salt and pepper. Could you grab me the um the platter, the glass platter for your fish, for our fish? We're gonna have a separate one because of the the boys. Which glass platter? Just the. Pirates. Uh huh. Oh hi! Nice to meet ya. Yes, I'm I'm Pompano. Girl, what time is it? What time is it in the Philippines? How you know about that Pompano? You know mommy caught some, huh? You know mommy catches fish now? Or she goes fishing now? Here you go. Yes. Okay. I'm making two separate dishes because one's for, one's spicy and one's not going to be spicy for the kids. So we'll put the big fish right here. Let me show you my little setup right now. That's steaming hot. Here's my setup. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Of course she's a daddy. Okay. Anytime they go fishing. I mean, anything fishing, you always know that my dad's going to be there, right? Anytime, anytime. Okay. So, we're going to make this Thai chili sauce. Um, now what I have is the oil from the fish in here, and it's hot enough to fry now. This is gonna be, this is another reason why I'm cooking outside. Not only but the fish, but the Thai peppers. So, here's chopped Thai peppers. I'm just gonna put it in there. <laughs> Never. The flames are over there. Stay away from the flames. Stay away from the flames. This is garlic. <coughs> oh, it smells so good. Chopped garlic is what I do. Usually mints, but I decided to chop this time. Um, and then... White vinegar. Nampla or uh, tapis. Fish sauce. And this is coconut palm sugar. Don't know how much that is. So you get a little bit of sweet, a little spicy, a little sour, and it's gonna be delicious. And then you're just gonna let this boil. I'm also gonna put a little bit of water in here too. So I'm gonna let that simmer. Let it simmer for now. And as as it cooks, it's going to thicken up. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some water.
you want it to like caramelize, right? You want it to thicken. You want it to thicken. With that sugar in there, with that vinegar. I'm gonna taste it. See what it needs. Always taste it and see what it needs. So I think. <clears throat> Woo! It's spicy. I think it needs. Have to make the sticky rice? No, okay. that's tomorrow. Okay. I'm making sticky rice tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I was on the bus. Keep pressing. So satisfying to watch someone else cook. <laughs> okay, let me show you how it's like thickening right now. Let's see. Uh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Yum. So with this sauce, I'm actually gonna spread on top of one of the fishes. I need to stock up on my um, Thai chili sauce tomorrow, so I'll make that. I don't know if I should do another live while I'm making that, but that shouldn't be too, too long. This is probably long because I'm making our entire dinner. But hopefully I, hopefully y'all enjoy it. Either way, I'm gonna cook. And share what I cook for my family. I think the entire neighborhood is smelling mm -hmm. our food. Coconut sugar, coconut palm sugar is actually what I used in here, but you, typically I would use um, palm sugar. The so coconut sugar, Octopus. brown sugar, it'll do just fine. Okay, so maybe like a minute more on this one. And this is the Thai chili sauce that's going to be right on that fish over there. This one's a huge fish. Right there. Pompano. Hello, the pompano. I like pompano. Me too. It's delicious. Do you do you really like pompano kuya? Yeah. He really does. My kids love eating fish. Um any type of fish. They like eating squid and octopus. They requested that at a restaurant when we went to Chicago. Oh, uh, yeah, it was funny. But yeah, they, they ate the entire octopus. 
and it was wonderful. That was actually a really good octopus. It was grilled and like stir fried in some sort of vegetable herbs. Yes, baby. Uh-uh-uh, don't touch. Carlito, say hi. Say hello. <laughs> Kuya, say hello. Everyone's just hanging out outside. Uh-uh-uh, don't mess with that. Don't touch that. Okay. Can we eat now? Hold on. <laughs> this takes time. Jeez. Seriously, this is only 10 when I cook. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Okay. So, now that the sauce is cooked, I'm just going to put it in. Oops. So this is the pompano. This is going to be the Thai chili sauce on top of it. Should have been a little bit thicker, but it's all right. It'll be all right. So that's that. My nose is Oh no. Oh no, baby. You got it, Papa? Yeah. Let me get your napkin. Papa's gonna get a napkin, okay? I want a tissue. He's gonna get tissue. Okay, so that's the papa now. Oh, baby. Okay, hold it on your nose, okay? And then now I'm going to cook my in. snow pea because I want to be healthy and I need some greens in my life. Be right back. I'm going to put this in the kitchen. You're not bleeding anymore. You're not bleeding anymore? Excuse me, Ariana. of that pompano with the Thai chili sauce on it. Now I'm going to make... That thing over there is awesome. I just put all the food under it so that the flies don't get into it. Okay. I want fish. I want fish for my mom. Okay, almost done, baby. I need to cook the vegetables first. Okay? My, uh, everyone here in the Callaway house is being so antsy. Every time I cook, they're like, hurry up, mama. Hurry up. And I'm like, y'all, it takes time. It takes time. You can't rush it. Okay, so now I am actually going to make the snow, snow pea leaves. Stir fry snow pea and garlic. Wait until this gets hot. You know it's not when you flip water on them and it starts sizzling. Or if you put your hand on it like that and you hover it and you feel like it's kind of hot. Cooking and then we're um, we'll start eating. Bit. 
Are you getting bit? Yeah. Okay. Lots of mosquitoes? Yeah. Come on. Okay. Let's go inside. Okay, so water. Boom. You know it's hot enough when the water does that. I'll do it one more time because it's so satisfying. Yeah, it's pretty satisfying. Okay. All that's done. All that's done. Okay. I'm just going to put oil. gonna put garlic in here. Oh, fish. fish is almost done. Mm. Our fish is done. It just needs to be, I just need to cook, um, cook the veggies. No, no, baby, out. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, yeah, out. Now that it's a little wilted, I'm gonna put the sauce that I made. So this sauce is um, a mixture of oyster sauce, um, tapioca, tapioca flour, um, and what else? Oyster sauce, tapioca flour, and salt. Or I mean, and black pepper. That's it. I'm just gonna put it on there. And it makes it really thick. It's thick and yummy. So typically I like to actually not use this. I like to slice my garlic or something like this, but I I, I used it for the um, Thai chili sauce, and I didn't. I was too lazy to uh, go back and slice up something, some garlic, when everyone is wanting to eat right now. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to do. That's it for the vegetables. So that is snow pea leaf stir fry with um, garlic sauce or garlic oyster sauce, that thick sauce. I'm just going to put it, I usually like to already put it in a container just in case you um, don't eat it and it's already in a container for leftovers. Boom. And that's all. That's what we got for dinner. I'm going to clean everything up. Taste that. That's butane. Butane. Release it, and let me show you again the thanks on on for staying and Courtney and everyone who joined in. So I just want to show you what we cooked tonight for dinner. I don't know how long this video is. Um, so fried pompano number one with the Thai garlic chili sauce right there. It's for JD and I. Fried pompano number two. Mm mm mm. Hello. <laughs> um, and this I just marinated it with salt and pepper. That's all you need. That is all you need. 
and then my snow pea leaves with stir fried snow pea leaves. So I hope y'all enjoy this video um, cooking dinner with me, watching me cook my our dinner and um, oh, Pompano Sinigong, that sounds delicious. Yeah, that sounds really good right now too. Maybe I'll make it sometime this month since it's Sinigang season. All right, well, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed and I'm gonna start feeding my family now. You usually typically eat this with white rice and that's all you need, white rice. So if you have any questions, feel free to PM me. Um, and if y'all want the recipe, I guess I'll try to make a recipe card on this one, but I am ready to go. Here's my Guatemalan um, headband and my Guatemalan apron that I got. Um, it's so beautiful. But anyways, time to roll out. Time to eat. Bye. Love y'all. Bye.